Russia's Romanov family celebrating 400 years since the first emperor of the dynasty was crowned. And one of them, 27-year-old Rat... Did I say this correct? Rastislav, Rastislav yeah. Romanov, who was born and raised in the United States, now lives permanently in Russia. Prime Times, Madina Kochnova found out what brought him to the country of his ancestors. Let's have a look at that interview. First of all, thank you f so much for your time. It is really an honor for us. Thank you very much for inviting me to this interview in Russia. It's very special for me and an honor me to do this interview here in Russia instead of somewhere else. The Romanovs are celebrating the 400th anniversary of their dynasty. Is there anything special that you've prepared for this year? For example, the watch that I designed is a um, very simple classic watch. We used my family's crest with the griffin and the uh, shield of bears, but we decided to deconstruct it to make it more modern for modern Russia and the modern world. And then, um, then on the back, we decided to use um, three figureheads. The first, Romanov Mikhail Pervy, Peter the Great for the second, um, and Nicholas II for the last star of Russia. I know that you worked on the design of this watch. Can you tell me what was your inspiration? First it started for more about my family, you know, to show my family to the world in different ways instead of just, you know, TV interviews or newspaper articles or internet readings. You know, I wanted to show them that we are still around even though there's very few of us left you know, that we're still here and we're still interested in Russia. Do you regard Russia as your second motherland? This is my motherland. You know, my heart, my soul is part of this country. You know, I felt that for the first time I arrived here when I was 13 years old. So, yeah, it was, um, I, I can't remember a story turning around to my parents saying one day I want to live here when I was 13, so. Wow, <laughs> and you were 13 at that time? Yes. I felt right at home as soon as I landed in St. Petersburg. I've never been scared of this country. I find the culture, the people, the art, the music, the books, the history, most astounding, most fascinating, and most beautiful thing ever I've seen. It's just, this country has given the world so much, and it still is giving the world so much. So you first came to Russia in 1998. Can you tell me what was your first memory of it? I remember landing, I remember the taxi ride there, I remember going into the hotel and the whole family just sitting in the reception at the hotel that I never met my whole entire life and we got on like we known each other for all our lives so it was spectacular but the picking up the bones, the Romanov um, um, coffins at the airports um, was very memorial. I remember the musicians standing there, the piccolo player, the flute player, the, you know, the violinist, you know, I remember the soldiers, I remember the plane. Um, and then I remember the, um, remember going back after that, and that night going to, Rasta Povich invited us to his place for a, a huge dinner and me and my little brother sitting next to each other with my father on one side and my mother and sister on one on another table. So it was an honor and great honor for me to be there with my father and to share that experience with him and um, you know to be there and to stand next to him during the service because six months later he passed away so it was a great honor to share that experience with him you know he always wanted to come back to ever since he was a small child but he never could so you also paint and I heard about your exhibition could you tell us more about it well, I love to paint. I started painting when I was 14 years old um, and um, at school and I wasn't taking it very seriously because it was school. Then um, an artist came across my table at school one time and it was Kandinsky. And I started learning about Kandinsky, how he painted, how he listened to music and paint and, you know, and I, I just I, I just connected to that straight away and, you know, started listening to music and started painting seriously. And then, um, and then my teacher left and a new teacher came in and he was a professional artist and he turned around to me and then he taught me how to paint planner and he taught me all this art world out there, Russian, English, you know, but he said I should mainly concentrate on Russian because my artwork is, was very Russian, is very Russian. And um, so 
I just did that. I concentrated on my strengths, my colours, my brush strokes, and um, and then it came to my final year at school. Everyone was going off saying, "I'm going to go to this university and do that," and I was just thinking, "I don't know what I'm going to do." Then he suggested that I go to art school, and I went to art school. I went to University College of Falmouth and studied fine art, mm -hmm. a fine art degree, and then um. I came out and I decided it's time, you know, to come and visit Russia to see, to feel, to understand everything that's going on in Russia. So, about the exhibition, uh, the exhibition is going to be about Russia, celebrating Russia culture, the churches, and the landscapes, you know, the history, the present, you know, everything. Thank you again for your time. It was really an honor. It's Thank a pleasure. You.